Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. And today we are back on Ozark State Dynasty featuring the Ozark State Outlaws. And today... Toughest road game yet is an interesting way to describe it because it's, it's, it's going to be pretty tough. I'll, t I'll tell you that much. It's number six, Notre Dame. And after our performance last week against Georgia's uh, Tech, I almost regret putting Notre Dame on the schedule. Because Notre, Notre Dame is pretty good. Update on recruiting from those guys that we went after um, who had the lower lock percentages. I think we've done pretty well so far. Already put some points into him. Tony Gates, minus 565. And then at uh, free safety, we have Adam Wheeler, minus 620. So we're in the hunt for these guys. And they're very, very good players. Would really like to add them to the team. They're not going to be easy to get, however. So it's kind of go big or go home. Got to take some risks. They got lucky last year. Hopefully it happens again. And I'm going to have to get super lucky today if we're going to have any shot against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Headed into South Bend, Indiana. And anything's possible, I'm supposed to say. So we still have a top five ranked pass offense, but so does Notre Dame. They have a top five passing touchdown rank. Their rush offense is good. Oh my goodness, we're gonna be in for a rough one. Ozark State versus number six Notre Dame. They have a, like, what, 23 overall advantage, but it's going to be on the offense today. I don't think we're going to be able to stop Notre Dame at all, so we need to score points in a big way. Starting off receiving, not my favorite, but, you know, maybe we get on the board first and we, we set the tone. That's a decent block. We need faster offensive linemen. Okay, that's maybe seven or eight instead of four, and that, that really is the difference. Colby, Spencer, cut it back. Oh, man, we had the first down. Try to get a little bit more by going outside. I'll pick up the six, though. Wide open, wide open. Give me a block. Scott Lewis breaks a tackle, which counts for the same thing. 20 yards. Running the same thing again. This time, it's Darren Maxwell. Haven't seen him that much this year. Only one carry on the season. But he's playing his role today. Here we go, Colby. Ah. Not a great run. Wow. Pressure. Just give me blocks. No one blocked at all. We had two guys. They just ran to the other side of the field. Come on, man. Help me out. One for one on third down. Let's make it two for two. Keep it 100%. Darren Maxwell. First down and more. Seven yard pickup. Big third down conversion. I said we gotta come out and set the tone. It's exactly what we're doing. Good read option. Colby Spencer picks up three. We just, we need him to not get injured. Because he's gonna carry us to victory here today. Another third down. This time Scott Lewis in the game. They're stacking the box a little bit more. We need good blocking. Scott Lewis. Touchdown! He got the first down and then got into the end zone. We have the lead over the Notre Dame firing, Fighting Irish. We're firing outlaws. Guns blazing. Coming out like Yosemite Sam. That should be our mascot. No relation to Looney Tunes. As Clemson beats Florida State. DeAndre Francois looked like he was pretty good in that one. But let's go, baby. 7-0. Can the defense step up against the Notre Dame offense? That is the question. Good stop. Oh no, Josh Adams is still going. It is third and eight though. They're moving into the hurry up. I don't know, man. I feel like this is this is maybe not the right defensive call for the scenario. Malik Zaire going deep. 
And it's complete over the head of Jarvis Blankenship. It's Tory Hunter Jr. No. Oh, that's so brutal. That's a big sack. That's what she said. Malik Sayer goes down. It's Lightning McQueen. ka -chow. Big play. Tight end in motion. Please. Malik Zaire throws. Incomplete. That, that would have been bad. There are some open guys, maybe. They're going to line up in field goal formation. That's a huge, huge win for the defense. I know we got crushed over the top on a big streak that got completed. But to step up and not allow a touchdown, to make Notre Dame settle for three, that is gigantic for us. Toby Spencer on the run for Scott Lewis. That's a big gain. That's huge for us on second and long. Here we go. Let's take off with Colby Spencer. Oh, that's a hit we didn't need to take. Colby's getting up, though. Third down conversion. Rob Gaither, no. He got destroyed. That would have been a big play, too. That's a good conclusion to Rob Gaither. He's taking shots, though. Goodness gracious. Fourth and six from about midfield. We're going for it here. And um, so we need we need to get this. Bottom line, we need to get this. And we're throwing that. And it's complete to Roland Francisco. He definitely got the first. That's a huge play. Quick pass. It's good. They're sagging off. That's where we got to take advantage. Third and three. Uh, that's a tough throw, but it's complete to Darren Maxwell. That is such a risky play, and it pays off big time. That's complete. Roland Francisco, there we go. I said that way premature, but he, he caught it, so I was right. <laughs> I'll take it. And off Scott Lewis. These four, five, six, seven yard gains are why we're in this game. If we're picking it up. Nothing's been real big chunk yardage, but we're just nickel and diming down the field, and that's what we have to do against Notre Dame. They're way too good and way too fast to take advantage of them uh, on deep passes. So we're playing our game, and we're doing a damn good job of it right now. And that's over the middle. And complete, it's Rob Gaither. And that might be his first or second catch on the day. Yeah, just his second. Want to get him involved. Handoff. Scott Lewis. Touchdown number two. How are we in this game? Heisman difficulty is usually a real bear, but we were lucky enough to hold him to three, and the offense is moving. What a hold by Pedro Goddard, and what a lead. 14 to three over the Fighting Irish. We're playing today. Malik Zaire goes down. That's Sandoval Slaughter. I believe his first sack for the Outlaws. Comes in a big game at a big time. Because a turnover or a punt by Notre Dame could really let us blow this thing wide open. Can you imagine 21-3? Oh, no. Big tackle by Blankenship, but that is not a good, good play for us. Zaire gonna run. I wish we could have a button like there is. In, oh my god, he broke a tackle. He's he's down at the one. That's a pick of 29 yards. In Madden, you press in on the right stick and the players go after the quarterback. I don't think this existed in 2014. Because I've tried it and it doesn't do anything. Which is extremely frustrating. Oh, big tackle by Byron Fulton. Zaire loses two. We need to keep him out of the end zone. 14-3 or 14-6, way better than 14-10. Oh my goodness, thought that was going to be a big tackle, but Josh Adams has a touchdown. He's just too big and too strong. Give me a block, Darren Maxwell. Colby Spencer, what a block from Karan Kirkpatrick! And a big gain from our quarterback. 
That could have been even more. 6.9 average. Nice. Third and 13. Big play here. We're going to throw that ball. It's Jake Rodriguez. No one around him. Easy first down. I wanted to throw to Jake Rodriguez there, but I'll take the under with Karan Kirkpatrick on the in. Third and three. The offense is still moving the football, but we have to capitalize. Let's not grow complacent. Let's pick up the first down. Keep the drive alive. Pedro Goddard's in the game now. Well, I mean, that's something. Are they going to blitz from the inside here? I really don't have a clue. Kobe Spencer sprained ankle. He's going to return to the game later. We're going to play Goddard for now, and we're going to go for it on fourth down. We're staying aggressive. We're one for one on fourth down. Worked out last time. I got to hope it's going to work out again. This is a blitz. A blitz would be tough right now. Wide open. Goddard hits Kirkpatrick. Give me forward progress. I think they're calling that forward progress. That is dangerous. First down, though. Jeez. Third and 12. Might be four down territory. We're going to have to dump it down to Scott Lewis. Fourth and six. That's a big That's a big fourth down. Well, we might line up. But probably we'll settle for a field goal at this point. I just... We have to kick to start the second half. So we're going to take the delay of game here, and we are going to kick the field goal, making it 17-10, hopefully. And um, we got Pete Riley, number 69. Hopefully he'll knock that one right through. And um, we got to shut Notre Dame out for the final 50 seconds or so. No, not four verticals. This is field goal range. I'm going to call a timeout. Pete Riley's ready to go. I don't know why coach is trying to make me go for this. Wasted a timeout I did not want to waste. 41 yards is actually no joke here. But the kick is right down the middle. Pete Riley's a beast. 17-10 in favor of the Outlaws. Unimaginably over the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. 45 seconds Maybe even a bit less, depending on this return. If they even decide to take it out, which they might not. And Holmes takes a knee. 45 seconds, three timeouts. This is so doable for Notre Dame. It really is. It could very well be tied up before the half, and then we have to kick the ball to them. That's worst case scenario. Equinemius St. Brown in motion. And that's almost an interception! They lose a yard, which is fantastic for us. And that clock's ticking. They're not calling timeouts. But they are going to move into the hurry up. I really wanted the user pick on that one. Looks like they're just going to let this one pretty much go to the half. I, that's amazing. I love that. They're going to snap the ball. And that is the half. We are up by a touchdown over number six Notre Dame going into the half unbelievable stuff here in South Bend we do have to kick and I imagine the second half is not going to be great we just got to stick to what we've been doing and I think we're going to have a really good shot but Notre Dame still in great striking distance we got to hold on Malik Zaire goes down. It's Sandoval Slaughter again. Slaughtering the offensive line. What a move. Not, not really. Was that Quentin Nelson at left guard? He wore number 56. And that's a big stop. That's a very good play. I know Malik Zaire kind of bodied somebody. But it's third and 12. So we're in a great position still. I just, I don't want to be in this spot, per se. We'll man up. Parrish. And it's just a check down. Josh Adams is still going. No. Fourth and one. They might go for this down seven. Looks like they're going to punt. Oh, they have no business punting here. 
fourth and one against this defense, which has played well today, but I think you just say we're better than you and run it down the throat. But no, they do punt. Byron Fulton back to return, and he's muffed it. It's picked up by Derek Higgins, who is way faster and looks like a better returner. We might put him back there now after the muff. That could have been so, so, so bad if Derek Higgins wasn't there to recover. We're going to roll out. Colby Spencer puts the ball on the ground, and it's recovered by Barajas. It would have been a really tough throw. We went with the run because it'd be safer, but apparently not. Evidently not. Colby Spencer puts it on the ground, and that is a killer. That's an absolute killer. It's like the punt never happened. It's just better field positioning. Oh, I wanted the user pick. Equinemius St. Brown is breaking every tackle. Usering has been difficult in NCAA for me. It's a lot different than it is in uh, today's Madden. And I've been, become accustomed to that. And now I've been pretty terrible so far in uh, NCAA. Maybe maybe a user pick or two on the entire series for me. As Torrey Hunter Jr. also breaking tackles. Notre Dame is just doing whatever they want to us right now. Malik Zaire trying to take off. Lightning McQueen brings him down. He did pick up a couple. But it is third and goal now from probably the two or the three yard line. I mean, we're, we're in a good spot. We just, well, it's not ideal, but it's an all right spot. Just can't, can't collapse. They're going to run the ball. And Byron Fulton was there. But what a huge tackle by Parrish. Durham Smythe, the tight end, didn't hit the right hole on the handoff. Now it's fourth down and goal from the three. And they're going to settle for a field goal as we somehow manage to hold on to the lead despite the fumble. Spencer on the run. Finds Rob Gaither. He makes a nice little move to pick up some more yardage. And throw on the run is so important in NCAA. Rodriguez is short. He's pretty powerful. Picks up five. Rolling out. Finding his man. Karan Kirkpatrick holds on. They're saying. I don't know about that. Looks like the ball might have come out at the end. But it definitely did. They gave it to him though. That's a terrible call. But I'm with it. Go, Colby. He breaks a tackle. Spins back. Should have taken that as an opportunity to slide. Read option. Colby Spencer. Look at the juke. And he's, we need a flag on that hit. I'm going out of bounds, man. That's a big run by Scott Lewis. That's huge. That's a huge pickup of eight. Third and five. Handoff. Darren Maxwell first down and more. Second and nine. There's the slant. It's Rob Gaither. He's got the end zone. Ten yard catch and run-ish for the touchdown. Colby Spencer has been money today. 17 of 20. That's his first passing touchdown. And of course, it would go to Rob Gaither. The, the player that's come out of nowhere for us. And is just dominated. Wow, that's, that's quite a throw and catch by Malik Zaire to Miles Boykin. And that's pretty much going to take us to the end of the third quarter. They might manage to get the snap off. They could if they wanted to, but I'm not sure if they will. And they are set, so this clock should start moving. Here's the handoff to Josh Adams. And he's just so big and strong. It's just too easy for him. End of the third quarter. We're up 24 to 13. We are in this game. We just got to hold on. And Notre Dame has activated the clutch skill. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, my goodness. Balik Zaire has some space. Fisher got him down from behind. But uh, we're starting to get gassed on defense, it looks like. Here's a handoff. What a tackle. Josh Adams can't get past the line of scrimmage. That's Dante Jean.
Whenever they send this tight end in motion, they just get big gains for some reason. Zier gonna run. Picks up eight. It's gonna be third and two. No, that's gonna be a touchdown. Durham Smythe dropped the ball. Durham Smythe dropped the ball. Unbelievable. And they're gonna go for it, of course. They're gonna run the ball. Fullback dive! And he doesn't get it. The van has no gas. Bobby Van stopped in the backfield. Goal of this drive, it's not even score a touchdown, which it probably should be. It's take as much time off the clock as humanly possible. It's gonna be just runs. Just runs and then a punt, I think. Oh, Scott Lou, that's a horse collar. Seven for 11 on third down. It's a very similar stat to what we had last game against Georgia Tech. We're gonna try a read option. And we have blocks. Colby Spencer slides and picks up the first. That's gigantic. Hornswoggle can't believe it. You guys like that mid 2000s WWE reference? Get out of the way! That's so bad. We're gonna throw the ball this time. Jake Rodriguez, look at the power. Picks up 11, makes this a manageable third and two. Here we go. Big block. Colby Spencer's got speed. First down. That's the longest six yard run I've ever seen. Another read option. Another good block and Colby Spencer has another first down. Notre Dame gonna call their first timeout. Of course only two remaining. And things are getting bad for the fighting Irish. They've got the light of fire skill. It might not be enough. Another read option. Another good block. I couldn't slide. They call their second timeout. Here's Scott Lewis. There we go. That's a pretty good gain. And that's the final timeout by Notre Dame. As we look to draw a conclusion of this game, it's insane that we managed to keep up with them. But now we can walk out of here with the win and embarrass them. The upset of dreams. Easily the biggest game in program history. And it looks like we're knocking it out of the park. A minute to play. It's another read option. Colby Spencer has space. 19 yards on the pickup. And I'm thinking that's about all she wrote. GG Notre Dame. No, Ozark State. I can't even speak. Ozark State has upset. Number six ranked Notre Dame on the road. Our first ranked win in program history or, or win against a ranked opponent in program history. Unbelievable. The defense played well enough, I guess. I mean, obviously got, got, got torched early over the top by Torrey Hunter's son. But then after that, we just made the most of our opportunities got into the end zone and delivered a beautiful upset. What I would have thought to be impossible after the loss to Georgia Tech where we absolutely collapsed in the second half. We got better in the second half and we've somehow beaten Notre Dame. A victory over a top 10 school, I never would have imagined it. What a game for Colby Spencer. 175 quarterback rating there. 18 of 21, or pass rating, excuse me, um, 184 yards passing, a touchdown. And that's not even to mention how good he was on the ground. 18 attempts, 126. Scott Lewis also had two touchdowns. His yard per carry wasn't great. And then, of course, Gaither, Rodriguez, Kirkpatrick, even Scott Lewis out of the backfield, all influential for us in their own way. Offensive line performed pretty well. We did a good uh, job of getting the ball out of the backfield very quickly. Sandoval Slaughter stepped up. Redshirt freshman with two sacks. Lightning McQueen also got one. The senior with a kachow. No interceptions. We don't really do that. Don't force any fumbles, obviously. But somehow we've managed to beat Notre Dame. And um, there was no Heisman cheese. We just beat him, man. Let's go. Now a level eight, and Notre Dame is certainly going to drop. And it's not like we're going to come close to becoming ranked as a, we're only one and two now, but that is a gigantic win. And you know what? A pretty 
a pretty telling win at that 24 13 like it wasn't obviously a really close game if you watched it which if you're watching this i would hope that you did but um yeah i mean just such a huge game let's go ahead and uh let's unlock the closure i think that one's really important in week six we take on duke maybe we can start a win streak i don't know I'm, I'm sky high right now. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Notre Dame drops to uh, number 19, I just saw. So big win for the Ozark State Outlaws as we now face 2-1 Duke. Let's go, Outlaws. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.